Simon Crafts is a poet who lives in San Francisco. His work has been featured in Quiet Lightning, Sparkle, and Blink. And he has uh, started taking himself really seriously. <laughs> Welcome, Simon Crafts. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey. It's pretty close, huh? Like here? I feel like if I were getting married, this is like the side. I'm looking, look at my side over here. It's <laughs> the groom's side. Yeah, the groom's side. It's a little uh, barren. All right, so I got, <laughs> you don't have to change. It's not oh, easy. Casey and I are a big troublemaker. <laughs> it's good. Switch it up. Keep us guessing. Um, okay, I feel more like right-sided. So I've tried a couple ways to read this poem, <clears throat> and it's kind of difficult because it, it has these like redactions in it. So it doesn't really have any words there. And I've tried a couple ways how to like do that, perform that. And I fired a cap gun the first time I did it, which was really challenging for me to like time it right, plus kind of just frightening for everyone in the crowd. So I decided I'm gonna cut that. And then the other time I just said blank, which was kind of boring. So I'm trying a new, a new method this time, which is that I need nouns to fill these spaces. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna source them. You guys are my my inspiration. Take the burden of creativity from me, and I'll let you do it because I'm just sick of being creative. It's boring. Um, so you can just shout them at me. Give me, give me some nouns. Book. Couch. <laughs> Microwave. Guns. Al <laughs> Albatross. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Poop. <Pooch> <laughs> I need to prep twelve of them. So we, we, you could just keep thinking. Oh, you know, the only person in the world. Oh, Vomitus. Mad lips. <laughs> Did you get hound? Toadstool. Cell phone. Poop. Cellophane. <laughs> <laughs> Someone say cellophane or cell phone? See, me miss you. I said cellophane. Cellophane. Okay. I think cell phone too, though. Yeah, it's all over the place. Warm milk. Guillotine. Those are two nouns. Put it together. <laughs> Guillotine. One of those is an adjective. Warm up. <laughs> what was that last one? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's also a noun. It is also a yeah. Ralph! Jenny, you know what can do? Alright, I got it. This is called Exit Manifesto. We want to keep one eye on the exit at all times. We want to take off our sneakers and pitch them into the couch. We want to censor and code the book by definition. We want to make sure our labor is pointless. We want to lick cold sweet creams in the summer. We want to drink warm red bloods in the winter. We want to obfuscate the albatross so gently. <laughs> you never know we want our letters to be intercepted, appraised and approved before arriving. At the destination, we want to anticipate the hippopotamus. <laughs> we want to read sonnets off of a red LED news ticker. In the airport, we want to know why we especially feel. We are always being watched these days. We want to turn the speakerphone on and fuck to the hold music until the vomitus arrives. We want to feed the mad libs. We want to feed the obvious. We want the questions to reveal the interviewer's process. We want no closure to be achieved we want the hound to be dispersed by intention. At customs, we want to bomb. The interview, we want to read and write without purpose. Or function, we want to finish. We want to give up halfway through. We want to live a life on the tarmac. We want to speak like a car commercial. We want to stop repeating ourselves. We want to be facing the cell phone when it washes over us. We want the collision of sea and land and air to be deafening. We want to need nothing we want. Simple things to say to this authority and mean we want to comfort. Our perpetual crisis. With so small acts, we want to feed. The poop a silent meal of possible <laughs> nouns and go back to sleep. We want to slouch towards the milk. We want to recline into the guillotine. We want to keep one eye on the exit. That's like you guys, that's like half your work, so you know. 
Some of those I was like, shit, I can't do that. It's crowdsourcing, it's a Kickstarter. All right, so this is my, uh, it's my sexy poem. <laughs> Got a drink for that one, man. Yeah, I get some wine, get listened up, listen to some jazz, and Barry Manilow or Weezer or whatever you want to go up to. I don't know. All right. Triptych Confessional. It's got three parts. This morning, it is morning again. In America, my childhood was boring, so don't make me speak about how. You watch me take a short, cold shower in hard water. I take a long, soft shit every morning. I want to smear hot cum on your round chest or your soft stomach or your bare ass. In our dark bedroom, where there is contempt for the libidinal dump this morning, there is no contempt for the ugly animal. Of my body, don't make me speak. Of my penis this morning, crowing, call it a cock in this sour Bukowski fuck poem. It is hard. Every morning, being a man and having anything exquisite and useful to say about being a man, it is rock hard and absurd. So we fucked this morning, you watch me come for you. Don't come mysteriously, you say, but I can't help pull back the drapes and check. In this dark bedroom, where everyone is the invited. This morning, exquisite abstraction, staring out of shape and consistency of the pool of my semen quickly cooling, hardening Rorschach blots. The orgasm echo behind the fluttering lids of my eyes read the light. Of your body's thrown bones in relief to get laid. The ancient tarot on top of a bare chest or a soft stomach or a round ass all seeking. The long, soft shape of a day that is exquisite and useful or possibly just thrown ape shit this morning, I'll never know. What you want me to talk? It is hard when we talk about love. What do we talk about exhausted? By a hard man's work this morning, I never began with the tools. Being that I've already finished dark bedroom walls glowing of bare chests or soft asses or round chests this morning, you haven't yet. Is it wrong that I've stopped looking for the exquisite and useful? You, inside of you, eyes able to feel genderless and primitive to the hours set free of wages. In a cave by a man, authoring this morning with the spear of a body where the cats haven't eaten all the birds. Escape me into an intervention of exquisite chance and useful consequence. All before I've even had a cigarette. Do you want one? Uh, I got, I got one more. Then we can mince about or whatever. <laughs> Go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> this one's called Newport Beach. And it's for Ariana. Left for days trapped in white sheets surround us with your family in a very soft vacation bed is too clean and reaching your body, I want to manifest that the tips of my fingers are addressed to you melting while on the coastline, we won't get any of this expensive shit dirty because it's a test. So there's a lot of money here. We can't fail to see the passive aggressive friends of the family always willing to do the favor of the patriarch in the upstairs room. The men are silent while the women take care the businesses we don't want to grasp, rolling over with a pillow, suffocating in comfort, your mother is absent, and we need better boundaries and silence on the public transit trains ride through our home stripped bare landscapes fade until the windows turn black and the opacity becomes reflective of the other passengers sharing this fluorescent lit space works in a five-year-old boy with the throaty laugh of a large and negligent father, we are forced to confront ourselves in this new context. You turn to me and say, it's only the cabin pressure that lets you maintain your shape while you move between states and eventually return home where everyone is planning a death. I say, there are a lot of single mothers on this train lot ride 
you need better boundaries. You can't go home. 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 Thank you.